Hello YouTube. Okay, um, I found these articles about the deadly Schmallenberg virus, which is this uh, new virus um, affecting livestock in Europe and the UK and maybe other places as well. Um, these articles are from The Independent and some are from Farmers Weekly. Okay. Lambing season left blighted as deadly Smallenberg virus. It should probably say something else after that. Farmers fear livestock crisis after thousands of animals killed by Schmallenberg's disease. Okie dokie. So it says, tens of thousands of lambs have been stillborn or deformed through, throughout Britain. Um, tens of thousands as a result of the deadly Smallenberg virus, with the industry bracing itself for what could be a blighted lambing season. In infected flocks, the rate of lamb loss has been between 25 and 30% on average, da -da 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 -da, according to the National Farmers Union Livestock Chief, who has lost 40% of lambs from his early breeding flock to the emerging virus. And so it's been reported um, on more than uh, 1,200 farms across the UK. But there are fears that the disease is being underreported and that government is not you know, taking the threat seriously enough. And so, okay, so 1,200 farms. Let me see. Um, okay, there's quite a bit to get to, so forgive me for this, but it's well worth um, f uh, f um, just hearing it out. Um, Smallenberg first appeared in eastern England more than a year ago, so that's like, they say, November 2011. Um, it originated in Germany, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, what is Schmallenberg virus, and what are the symptoms? Okay, so here we are on Wikipedia. Um, informal name given to a recently isolated orthobunya virus. Yeah, really. Um, for initially reported in November 2011, uh, causes congenital mal malformations and stillbirths in cattle, sheep, goats, and possibly alpacha. It appears to be transmitted by midges. Okay, da 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 da, -da. Um, which are likely to have been most active in causing the infection in the northern hemisphere. So, Northern Hemisphere Summer and Autumn of 2011, um, with animals subsequently giving birth from late 2011. Um, there's anything else that says much down there. Um, okay, symptoms. F fever of short, dura short duration, diarrhea and reduced production of milk in cows. Um, these symptoms have occurred during the period when the disease vectors, mosquitoes, sunflies, midges are active during the summer and autumn 2000 and made in effect cow. Stillbirths and birth defects in sheep, cattle and goats. Congenital malformations in newborn sheep, goats and calves are the most obvious symptoms. In many cases the mother apparently has not presented the symptoms of illness. These cases have occurred from December 2011, especially in sheep. December 2011? Hmm. December 2011? Autumn and summer 2011? What happened in 2011? short duration, diarrhea, and I'm not sure, you know, reduced production of milk and cows, obviously if you're ill you're probably not going to make much milk, and still births and birth defects in sheep, cattle and goats. Now, I, when I read this, I thought I've heard this somewhere before. Now, 680 would be 20 times background, my background. There you go, so, well, 
obviously the rain that's falling is more <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. One thousand one hundred and thirty CPM. So, okay, stillbirth birth defects, and I'll just share a few more articles. Smallenberg virus reemerges and could spread out. So reemerges, reemerges. Why it's only two years old, eighteen months. Okay. New virus which causes birth deformities in sheep and cattle has reemerged in the summer and could spread all across Britain in the weeks to come. Norovirus. More than 600,000 struck by the bug, and this is highly contagious. And this is reported from the UK, and it's also going on here in the United States. As the winter vomiting bug shows a seasonal rise, doctors warn people with it to stay away from hospitals. The disease which has no effect on humans, right, okay. And it goes on, you know, so you can read these, the independent Schmallenberg, you know, you can follow your nose. Um, there's another one. Farmers on red alert over outbreaks of new livestock disease. Yeah, so you get the idea. But here's the point, right? I was thinking, okay, congenital birth defects, stillbirths, and the affected an infected animal um, gets diarrhea and fever. O que, que é isso? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Daniel, tá vendo isso, Daniel? 13, Daniel. Next to one of these other articles, after 26 years, farms emerge from the cloud of Chernobyl, and so. When Chernobyl went up, um, uh, there was there's still a lot of fields and farms in England where you, you can't you can't um, grow food or re um, rear animals because of the radi radiation. Some nine thousand seven hundred farms and four million sheep were placed under restriction as radio cesium one three seven seeped into the upland soils of England, Scotland, and Wales. 26 years after the explosions of Reactor 4, restrictions remain on 334 farms in North Wales and 8 in Cumbria, but as of today the Food Standards Agency regulation on these farms were lifted, giving long-suffering livestock owners cause for celebration. Good morning, it's the 7th of July, 7am in the morning, and flooding seems to be side in now, but there's a experiment to you. We can now move our sheep freely and we can sell our lambs at whatever time we want. So we fell off, let's wipe down some more. Mm. Yeah, why not? I'm already being irradiated, let's get some more. Radiation's good for you, especially if you're smart, that's what they've been telling the Japanese, isn't it? To be honest with you, that's a lot. Well, please have enough. Video tip left. Let's put more water out. Any guesses what this is going to be? Let's see if we can get up to about 70. Okay, so just by chance, they're lifting the. Um, so when was this published? 1st of June, so like six months ago. Alright, and there's another Schmallenberg grim picture for 2013. Researchers at Nottingham University say Smallenberg virus, which causes deformities and neurological defects in unborn lambs and calves, has made a grim return this year. Virology expert, blah 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 blah. Times, here we go, listen to it go. Let's bone dry that. Seventy-six times back around, <laughs> eighteen times. Ten point two eight microsieverts. 
11.79 13 microsieverts Okay, so I thought to myself, well, I've, I've heard some of this before, Bertie facts. And so I thought, that sounds just like radiation. And that's from wiping down a bit more of the car. Findings. A significant positive association was found between the risk of a baby being stillborn and a father's total exposure to external ionising radiation before conception. Just in the odds ratio per 100 millisieverts or micro, yeah, millisieverts, 1.2495%. And da, 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 da. okay, not very good with the numbers, but the risk was higher for stillbirths with congenital anomaly, and it was highest for the nine stillbirths with neural tube defects. The statistical models predicted that the recession did it that way. Yeah, okay, so you get the idea. So. A significant positive association was found between the risk of a baby being stillborn and a father's exposure to radiation. Right, okay. So I get the picture. So 250. So the Not some air that they were really doing this. Some, some rain water there in the car. I've got one and a half minutes, two, two minutes left for at least 15 minutes. Stay out of the flooded water. Bye.